Tristan Jeffries. Tristan Jeffries fighting out of Pride Martial Arts under his coach Ross Levine. Coming in at 2-0, an undefeated prospect. Has a TKO round three under his belt. Comes by way of leg kick. Not very uh, normal to see that, especially at this level. But this man has a wide and deep bag of technique, of uh, creativity that he loves to dip into every single fight. And I think that's one of the things that makes him so dangerous is just how much range he possesses. I mean, he's incredibly athletic. He's like a gigantic guy, but he moves almost like a middleweight. Uh, he pairs his kicks great with combos. I mean, there's not a, a thing that I could say that would be a, a knock against this man in terms of his skill set. Um, he's super duper athletic. And he looks to make it 3 and 0 tonight. And showcase that skill. Making his way to the right corner. Miguel Padilla. Miguel the Gorilla Padilla at 1 and 1 fighting out of Rosa Kickboxing Academy. Fluid and fast for his size, tall and coming off a decision loss. So you have to think this one means a lot to him, especially to do it in this building. He's been training Muay Thai and kickboxing for three years now. He's absolutely one of the toughest prospects I've ever seen. We'll eat a shot to give one back. It's going to be a big test for Tristan Jeffries to see if he's going to be able to finish a guy in Miguel. I mean, they call him the gorilla for a reason. He's extremely durable, and he throws a lot of looping shots. When you pair that with his speed, his size, his power, he's a, a dangerous threat for anyone in this heavyweight division right now. Continues on the card for Illyrian Fight Night 2 with our upcoming contest, a K-1 matchup scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Pride Martial Arts, please welcome Tristan Jeffries. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, representing Rosa's kickboxing, Mikael Padilla. The man in charge of the action at the sound of the bell is Zach Porter. Zach Porter, another standout referee on this regional scene and beyond. And all it takes in heavyweight boxing, kickboxing, MMA is one shot. We'll see if that's the case here. We got ourselves a finishing machine in Tristan Jeffries and a durable power puncher in the Gorilla Padilla. Deal with a nice body kick early. Yeah, and both these guys incredibly fluid for their size. Both super duper athletic as we talked about in the introductions to this fight. And you see here, they're winging shots. I can hear the shots from here. I mean, that's how much of an effect they're having. Heavy handed, nice cross to the body there from Padilla. Oh. Jeffrey staying composed. Cashing in with that body kick early. Ooh, heavy leg kick there. Oh, nice shots there from Padilla. Very slick and technical boxing from him. Ooh. <laughs> And Jeffries lands a big body kick. Oh! You get a shake of the head there from Padilla. He gets off bounds there. Both men trading big shots. Also important to mention, we have it looks like a southpaw and an orthodox matchup here. That's going to leave both open to different options and attacks. Nice overhand landed by Padilla. Twenty-two seconds left in this first round. Head kick attempted there from Jeffries. Padilla able to get the guard up. Shovel uppercut, Padilla. Ooh, beautiful work there from Jeffries. Round one in the books.
mean, there's not much you could say to either of these athletes. I mean, both had beautiful, beautiful combinations. I'd say Jeffrey kind of mixed the, the martial arts a little bit better there. Was chopping the tree, starting with the body, ending upstairs, starting upstairs into the body. So it's tough when you're facing a guy like that to be able to really uh, get your defense going. It's a lot of information coming at you. Here we go, round number two. Both men also looking real fresh here. Jeffrey's throwing that head kick up there. Not a lot of tell on that. Just kind of whips it up there. That's framing shot there, Padilla. On the back foot, throws some shots of his own. Head hunting a lot here. Nice educated jab from Jeffries. He throws a body kick on the end of it. Big, big knee. Yeah, that body work is becoming more and more of a factor here in this fight. Oh. Padilla looked there for a moment like he had gotten frozen by one of the shots from Jeffries. Jeffries not only putting a lot of volume out there, but staying very, very technical, and the accuracy has been off the charts. Big knee again, and again that body kick. Diaz slowing down here. And those body shots, that's the main culprit. Right, all those knees, all those body kicks, and the shots that Jeffries throws when they come together. All those are gonna add up, and while you know it might not stop him, it's gonna really slow him down. Nice leg kick from Badia. Jeffries answered back with one of his own. That'll do it for round two. coming up here. Tristan Jeffries in the lead up to this one. For a lot of his teammates in the footage I saw, looking the fastest he's ever been. Easy to believe that considering what we've seen here through two rounds. Here we go. Third and final Superman punch there from Padilla. Spinning back kick. Oh! That shot lands in the guard of Padilla, but still having a noticeable effect. Jeffries with those body kicks, man. Yeah, and you, I mean, body kicks sound like gunshots. More hooks to the body, more uppercuts. Padilla keeping himself in this fight, though. But we talked about, I mean, he's going to be a tough guy to crack, and he has been. I feel like a lot of other heavyweights would have been stopped by now. Jeffries has a lot of power, but Padilla refusing to be stopped. Nice combinations there from Padilla. Hook over the top, and a jab to pair with it. 
Ho oh, ho, Jeffries lands a big head kick. Thirty-five seconds. Yeah, deep breaths from Padilla. Oh, and that's that. I mean, orthodox on on southpaw. Nine times out of ten, that body kick is going to be out there and available for guys to throw. Beautiful leg kick. And Jeffrey's Muay Thai background on full display as both men land big shots. We'll go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Gonna be interested to see how the judges have saw this one. I mean, Jeffries is just a step ahead. I, and, and again, you know, listen, Miguel Padilla, just a tough guy to crack and, and had his moments and, you know, was, was hard to put away. Was right there with Jeffries in the fight. He never looked like he you know, began to wither under the pressure, but I don't think he was able to do enough to be able to, to secure any of those rounds. We'll see though, we got the veteran voice of the cage, Mike Falvo. Once the judges' scorecards are in, we'll know, and you will know too, watching at home. Jeffries cruises to 3-0. I want to see him against some of the top heavyweights in this promotion. I do, because that man right there, if he can't get the finish, it's going to be a performance like that. No fault of Padilla's, it's just Je Jeffries is on a, a, another level right now. I want to see who they're going to pair him up with. 